You're tuned in to HCAM News. Tom Nappy here with Hiller's Varsity Girls basketball coach, Mike Greco. Mike, how you doing today? Doing very well. Thank you very much for having me. And I understand the uh, basketball camp is once again happening this summer. Talk about uh, this year's camp. Sure. We are once again uh, holding our summer camp in July. It's the third week. It's going to be July 18th to 22nd. Uh, we're going to run the camp from uh, for five hours, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. each day. You know, and it's it's for girls um, that want to learn basketball, that want to improve their games, all skill levels. You know, currently in grades three through eight. You know, we've got a lot of room left. Um, the camp's about half full right now, and and we're really looking forward to getting started. Now, what are some of the drills that you work on in this camp? We work on all aspects of the game. You know, we spend time, um, you know, getting them stretched out and, and ready to play so they don't injure themselves. We then work on ball handling and passing drills that, you know, are kind of age and skill level appropriate. We kind of differentiate the camp that way a little bit, you know, so the older kids get to work on some of the more advanced stuff. Um, you know, and then there's, there's, every day has a different theme. You know, we work on shooting and offensive moves for a day. We work on defensive stuff for a day. We work on uh, boxing out and rebounding different ways to use screens, how to play one-on-one -on -one or three-on-three, -three, building all the way up to five-on-five, -five, playing full court, um, all the while really stressing the fundamentals and, and you know, as well as having fun and, and learning the game in a competitive atmosphere. You know, we, we get kids that are, you know, there for the first time that have never played the game before, all the way up to kids that, you know, might be trying out for the varsity team the following season. And this camp's been running for many years now. How have the kids enjoyed it so far? Camp's been around uh, all the way back from the legendary uh, coach Dick Bliss, so it's been over over 35 years now, um, and it's certainly evolved over the years. But you know, f feedback has always been very, very positive. Um, last year was my first year heading up the girls' camp, you know, and I think we had really, really positive reviews, and girls looked like they had a fantastic time. Can you take us through a day at the camp, time-wise? Sure. Um, so the girls will, will check in about uh, you know eight or eight fifteen. They have a few minutes to warm up and shoot around before we start to take attendance. Um, you know they'll they'll meet with a coach and a counselor. Uh, one of the nice things about our camp is that you know the Parks and Rec Department is is so generous with um, the amount of staff that they let us hire. We have about a four to one camper to coach ratio, um, and so from there. You know, they'll, they'll check in, we'll take attendance, we'll get them stretched out with some of the counselors, we'll work on some fundamentals, ball handling, uh, passing, shooting um, type stuff. We'll usually do a short mini lecture, you might be on shooting or defense or rebounding, one of those skills I talked about earlier. And then by now it's about uh, 9.30 or so and we start, you know, getting into some of our competitions. We have uh, a dribble tag competition, we have a Coca-Cola shootout competition. Um, we have a free throw shooting competition, one-on-one uh, -on -one and three-on-three. -three. And so, they, you know, we play different types of games to, you know, let the kids work on their skills in a kind of competitive environment. Um, and then after we've done that for a little bit, usually somewhere around uh, 10, 30, 11 a.m., we start our first morning game. So the kids are playing, you know, full court, four-on-four, five-on-five, depending on numbers. Um, and then we'll break for lunch, you know, and then the kids have about a half hour break or so for lunch. You know, they all seem to eat in about five minutes and get right back in the gym, which is great. Um, after lunch, you know, we'll do another sort of mini, you know, 10, 15 minute, you know, lecture slash demonstration on another skill, work on that at their home baskets a little bit. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll finish the afternoon with one more game before sending them home. And this camp, it must uh, significantly increase the, the game of these players. It must help them out quite a bit. Yeah, you know, we, we always say, you know, going to summer camp is great um, because we can, you know, really work with them in, in small group settings. You know, they get to work with a lot of the varsity players, the varsity coaching staff, um, you know, and, and come see us again in the winter. But, you know, they get a lot of that individual attention. But more importantly, they learn how to improve their game on their own as well so that they can take some of these drills and take some of these activities home um, work on it in their driveway, work on it with a parent or, you know, call a couple of friends over to play two on two or three on three and, and really practice this stuff. But it, it certainly helps build the program. All right. Well, that's the Hillers Summer Girls Basketball Camp. And the dates are? The dates are July 18th to 22nd from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. All you got to do to sign up is visit the Parks and Rec website or you can visit the Hockington Girls Basketball website through the high school. Uh, and there's a link right there and, and additional information about the camp as well. All right. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you very much for having me. I had a great time.